if you're thinking menstrual cycle for women is very common and it's very simple it's among every woman and it needs no special attention you need to watch this video in this video i'm going to tell you about the problems that are faced by women and also by the country by the environment because of lack of menstrual hygiene and also the benefits of menstrual hygiene and also how we need to progress with this in our country okay this video but why this video today it's may 28th menstrual hygiene day so i wish every woman a happy menstrual hygiene day today but why 28th is celebrated as menstrual hygiene day it's because 28 days is the average menstrual cycle for women and that is the reason why 28th of may is celebrated as the menstrual hygiene day okay let's get quickly into the video uh, i'm really going to tell some shocking facts that are involved with menstrual hygiene in our country and also worldwide uh, please watch the video fully okay so this menstrual hygiene day uh, this thing was actually initiated by an ngo based on germany uh, called WASH. According to a report by WSSCC, that is Water Supply and Sanitation Council, over 300 million women are menstruating a day. So you have to think about the number of sanitary pads that are used in a day by women all over the world. Are they being properly degraded? We have to talk about that. It is reportedly said that for a sanitary napkin to get degraded, it takes almost six months. Over 432 million sanitary pads are generated in India every year, which means it can cover up to a landfill of 24 hectares. Chemicals from the sanitary napkins cause water pollution. That is underground water pollution, which is really hazardous to everyone. So what is the solution? Everybody over a period of two years, everybody has been saying like, you know, uh, sanitary napkins should not be used by women. They have to be replaced. Uh, more of tampons must be used. But we should also think that at least a woman, can they even afford to buy a sanitary napkin in this country? Many young girls and women of reproductive age live in a very, very poor socio-economic conditions. That is what a report says. Uh, Wilbur, Torrendal, Hamid, Mahon and Cooper. In 2019, all these people together have made a huge research and they have stated that almost 663 billion women lack basic amenities. Uh, that is basic access to safe water during their menstrual cycle. And 2.4 billion women lack access to basic basic sanitary conditions and you know what a person called Lonan in 2017 made a report that almost half a billion women lack privacy during their menstrual cycle so we all know it's very open about so many things in this world at least in this 2019 and 18 but a study in India which was conducted few years back said that 42 percent of reproducting women in India do not even have any knowledge about sanitary napkins or they do not even know why it happens that is why do they get periods they were never told by their parents when they were asked about what is periods and why do they get it they had no answers those children in the school they said that it is considered as a sin that is what their parents have told considered as an unsacred thing and that is why it is happening many women still find it not affordable to buy sanitary napkins so what do they do this country is so lacking in hygiene and especially menstrual hygiene. I know a friend of mine who is working in office where there are sanitary napkins provided to the women working there at free of cost by the person who is running the office. And there are a lot of other offices I know personally where my friends are working. It's a good initiative. But what I expect and what I request this government is this government should provide free sanitary napkins to women who are struggling a lot in this country. Menstrual hygiene is very important. It is very important for the birth of a new child. It is very important for the existence of a woman.